This video series is brought to you by Dunleary Ratdown Libraries in association with Mark the Science Guy and supported by the Dormant Accounts Fund. The resources used throughout this series are part of the SFI Discover Primary Science and Maths programme and is Aero Ireland. Hello everyone and welcome to the STEAM Lab where we curiously investigate the wonderful world around us and apply that knowledge to do some pretty funky things if I do say so myself. So let's go, come join us with our investigations and then make your own discoveries by trying out the activities at home or in school because all the resources we're gonna use are part of the SFI Discover Primary Science and Maths Programme and Zero Ireland. So you can join in and have fun and make your own discoveries and engage with science, technology, engineering, arts and maths. Everybody hop aboard the steam train because today I've been looking at electricity and this is my Tesla coil. It's basically a lightning machine invented by Nikola Tesla. He was a Serbian electrical engineer that was born about 150 years ago, but it's not quite working and I've been trying to figure out how to fix it. So I think I'm gonna to have to look a bit closer at electricity and to help me, I'm going to bring in my lab partner, Ali. She'll know what to do. I'm gonna press my teleportation button and Ali shall appear. Okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hello, Ali. Hey, Mark. What were you doing? Eating cereal. Did I catch you in the middle of something? I was just eating my cereal you outside. You your big jacket on. What's uh, up with jacket? It's really coming down outside. It's raining? Mm. Thunder and lightning? Thunder and lightning, yeah. Oh, really hence bad. the jacket. What are you eating cereal for? I was hungry. You were outside, outside eating cereal. Yeah, I didn't have any milk, so I needed the water, the rain to just soften <laughs> off a little bit. You, know? you were using rain to moisten your cereal. Yeah. Right, I'm just gonna gloss past that. Thank you for joining us. I no used our, our teleportation machine to, to get you here. No problem. Um, uh, we've been looking at electricity. Oh, 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 sorry, I got a, got a shock off the chair there. Oh, you shocked me <laughs> as well. <laughs> you got electric apologies. shock. Sorry, everyone. Yeah, a little. Because you're dragging your feet around all the time. Ali's always dragging her feet around, traipsing around. It's the most efficient way to move. You need posture, Ali. It's poise. Poise. <laughs> okay, well, your rice crispies actually might come in. Useful. Are you still eating Rice Krispies? I was in the middle of my breakfast. Okay, fine, fine. But we're going to investigate electricity because yeah. I had my Tesla coil out and it wasn't shooting out any bolts of lightning. So I think something's not right with it. So I want to look more in depth into some electricity. So I'm going to put this safely out of here with only bolts of lightning suddenly no. shooting out of the no way. Not hitting my Rice Krispies anyway. Oh. Electricity is a form of energy and energy is the ability to do work. And energy is used for everything. We need energy to, to run, to walk, to laugh, to eat Rice Krispies, and they give you to the energy. chew, and they give you energy. Mm. So energy is used for lots of things, and electrical energy powers all the appliances around the world that powers our homes, our houses, our businesses, and it will be pretty hard to think of life without electricity. Think of all the appliances you use, your TV, your computer games, your phones, your laptop. Very hard to imagine life without electricity. So I think we need to take a little bit of a closer look here. Mm -hmm. So to understand what electricity is, we gotta understand first that everything around us is made up of atoms. Everything. Everything. You, me, the Rice Krispies, everything. Okay, let go of the Rice Krispies, Ali. <laughs> everything around us is made up of atoms. They're basically like the blocks of Lego that mm. create the earth. And in the center of an atom is a nucleus. Mm -hmm. Inside the nucleus, there are positively charged particles mm -hmm. called protons. There are particles with no charge called neutrons. Mm -hmm. And then spinning around that nucleus, there are negatively charged particles uh -huh. called electrons. Mm -hmm. And electricity is basically the presence or flow of these charged particles. Okay, and there are two main types of electricity. You have static electricity and current electricity. Let's start with static electricity. Okay. You got a shock. And sometimes you can get a shock if you're walking around at home, you're walking along yeah. your carpet, you go to touch a metal doorknob and you get that shock. Yeah, a lot. Or even you can get them off other people sometimes. Yeah. As well. Sometimes taking off your kind of your woolly clothes, your jumpers, you can hear that kind of snap, that crackling. And pop. Yeah. snap, snap crackling. Yeah. Snap crackling and pop. <laughs> Put the Rice Krispies away. Okay, okay, fine. Static electricity occurs when electric charge builds up on an object. And that can happen when rubbing certain materials together. So we're going to start with our first hands-on investigation nice. into static electricity. Okay, what you're going to need for this one, nice and simple, you're going to need a balloon. Oh. You're going to need a woolly jumper. Okay, cool. Or a different kind of material. Mm -hmm. And you're going to need something to try and manipulate. I'm going to... 
Yes, of course. You can bring your Rice Krispies in well, I'm again. Gonna, I'm going to sacrifice them for science. <laughs> I brought my hair with me today, Ali. You know, very so prepared. Just, yeah, they're very prepared. So I'm going to use my hair. Okay. So first thing you're going to do is get your balloon and you're going to blow it up. Okay, it. now I'm going to rub this against my hair and like we said, when you rub certain materials together, that can build up a static electric charge. So I get the balloon and I rub it off my hair, just like this. Now, when I'm rubbing it off my hair, electrons are moving and transferring from my hair to the balloon. So the balloon now has more electrons, so it's negatively charged and if we bring it towards the Rice Krispies, you can see that the Rice Krispies jump up and oh, down. Cool. So the balloon has negatively charged particles. It's full of electrons and it attracts the positive Rice Krispies. So you can use Rice Krispies or try with different pieces of paper as well. Break them up into small little bits, sprinkle them over the table, rub your balloon on your hair or your woolly jumper yeah. and see how many of them it picks up. Now, you can use these as well, but we've got something pretty cool for our next investigation. Oh yeah. We're gonna make a wormery. A okay. wormery, okay. nice. And it looks pretty cool. You're gonna need a garden. So mm -hmm. you can use a sheet of cardboard. Mm -hmm. What we've done is we've stuck a sheet of green foam over it to look a little bit like grass. You'll need tissue paper of different colors. Uh, you'll need a scissors. You will need some crit stick. Mm -hmm. And then we decorated ours using pipe cleaners and lollipop sticks. Yeah, because we want you to get creative as well. Design your own garden. We did lots of different colors. Uh, we made like a little fence around yeah. it with lollipop sticks. That's really cool to do as well. And we've lots of different color kind different of worms as worms, well. Yeah. So let's build a wormery together. Okay, okay, let's do it. Okay, so Mark, first thing I want you to do is I want yes. you to stick the grass onto the ground. Here. Okay, so this will be the start of our garden. So we're gonna stick the grass, just using the Pritt stick, cover the back of the grass. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut out little worm shapes out of the tissue paper. Okay. As many worms as you like, you can make them look however you like. You can decorate them, draw little faces on them, whatever you're feeling yourself for your wormery. Okay. okay. So, Ali, the garden is complete. Okay, and I've got a little wiggly worm here. A little wiggly worm. So what you're gonna do then is just put a little dab of glue on the bottom mm -hmm. of your worm and stick them into the grass. And you can make as many worms as you want. Get a few, stick them down, lots of different colors. After you've stuck all of your worms on and decorated it, it might look a little bit like this. A little this. bit like this. Let's bring back our old friend, the balloon. Let's charge it up again. Okay. So let's transfer some electrons from my hair to the balloon. And then let's see what it does to our worms. Okay, so we bring it over the garden. Oh. And check them out. Oh, they're dancing. They're dancing. They're dancing. They're worms, but they remind me of like meerkats. They're just kind of like, hello? Waking them up with static electricity. Maybe the dancing wiggly They're really worms. good at headbanging. Yeah, 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 yeah. They have the whole headbanging yeah. thing going on. You can investigate rubbing the balloon off different materials as well and see which ones are the best at producing static electricity. As you can see, the worms are attracted to the balloon. Yeah. So we have a negatively charged balloon and these are positively charged little worms. Yeah. And opposite charges attract. So unlike charges attract. So let's see if we can do things maybe with like charges. So okay. what if we had two negative things, what would happen then? Okay. So I have a negatively charged balloon here. So let's get another negatively charged balloon. Oh. Bring them together and see what happens. Okay. okay, I've got a balloon. All right, rub off their head. Charge them up. Okay, initiate charging sequence. Okay. So I've attached mine to a string so that we can hang it up in the air. Let's bring my balloon closer. It's pushing your balloon away. So we have two negatively charged objects. We're bringing them together and like charges repel. Negative repels negative. Ali, that was pretty fun, but I think I want to apply that knowledge to do something pretty cool. So okay. I have a machine that can build up a lot of static electricity. Okay, let's bring it in. <laughs> This is our Van der Graaff generator, and this can build up lots of static electricity. As we said, when things rub off one another, they can transfer electrons to each other. Inside the Van der Graaff, there are two different materials. These are rubbing off each other, and all those electrons are transferred to the top dome here, where they are static, they're not moving, they're gonna build up, and we're gonna see what happens. We're gonna put lots of these little bun cases that are made from aluminium foil. We're gonna put all of them like a little hat 
on top. When we turn on the Van de Graaff, all those electrons are going to build up on the dome and the bun cases. Let's see what happens. Okay. okay. Oh, oh, check it out. Oh, it's, it's raining, raining cup cups. Cases. <laughs> all of those cup cases jumping off, repelling each other. Current electricity is the flow of electrons. And for electricity to flow, it needs a path or a circuit. So let's investigate electric circuits. Now, electricity flows through wires or cables and it can also be stored in batteries. Hmm. So here we have some wires and a battery. So we're gonna create a circuit or a path for electrons to flow. Now, to demonstrate this, I got some pretty cool. Okay. So this is our electricity stick. Okay. So basically, this is very simple. It's got some batteries and some wires, some lights and a buzzer. And this is going to tell us if we complete an electric circuit. Because just like at home, all your electricity flows in your house through wires. When you turn on the switch, the lights come on. You complete an electric circuit. When you turn the switch off, the electric circuit is broken, no electricity flows and your lights don't come on. Yeah, electricity can only flow if everything in the circuit is connected together. If there's a mm -hmm. gap in your circuit, the electricity just can't flow. And that's what this is going to show us. So Ali, let's form a human electric circuit. I'm going to grab one end of the battery. Okay, I will end grab the other end. This time for the switch, we're going to use our fingers. Okay, so okay. good. All right, let's complete an electric circuit. Here we go. Three, two, one. All right. Yeah. And if we let go. If we let go. Break the circuit yeah. and the electricity doesn't flow anymore. Switch on. Switch off. Switch, switch on. on. Switch, switch off. off. I thought you were going to do it again as well. <laughs> we're going to use our understanding of electric circuits to make an electric quiz Ooh, game show. Shocking. <laughs> Such a bad pun. Had to do it. Had to, had to do, do it. it. Had to do it. Okay, what do we need for this investigation? For this investigation, what you're going to need is you're going to need a quiz board. Mm -hmm. So we just use a sheet of cardboard and again, put a sheet of coloured paper over it just to make it look pretty. Mm -hmm. You're going to need some paper clips. You're going to need a battery. You're going to need some wires to complete your electric circuit. You're going to need some lights. So we're using these little colored LED lights. And you're also going to need things like a scissors, some print stick and a pencil or a marker. Very cool. Now, we made one earlier, Ali, didn't we? We did. And make one we earlier. thought it was very cool as well. So let's show them so what the complete picture will look like. So this is our electric quiz. So this is what we want you guys to make. So the quiz works by completing an electric circuit. So what you would do, for example, is if we picked Mufasa here. Okay. So I put my wire onto the paper clip beside Mufasa's face. Okay. Now what Mark has to do is he has to try and put his wire on the paper clip for the correct movie. Okay, and by doing that, I will either complete or incomplete an electric circuit. Okay. If I complete the electric circuit by getting the right one, the light lights up. Yeah. I am correct. So the light turns on when you complete the electric circuit, the light turns on when you get the correct answer. Okay, Ali, you came up with a Disney theme yes. in the quiz. Uh, not my strongest theme, oh. I, I will say, but uh, let's play the quiz, okay? Okay, let's work together on this one. Okay, so I'm gonna take the answer wire. Okay, and I'm gonna pick the question wire. Okay. So the aim of the game is to match the Disney character to its movie. So if we okay. start with the first Ooh. one here, I'm gonna put my answering wire okay. onto the paper clip. And then I have to, okay, dragon looking character, maybe he is in, there's a dragon on Mulan. Correct! Nice. nice, his name is Mushu. Right on. Mu what? Mushu. Mushu, bless okay. you. Uh, let's do the next one. This is an easy one. I know one. this one. That's Mufasa. You yeah. Taught, you taught me that one. Lovely. Okay, okay. okay. correct. Lights up, correct. Okay. Okay, next one. Worm frog looking character with a swirly tail. Uh oh. It's a um, chameleon. I don't find them very funny. <laughs> okay, uh, this one's tricky. I'm gonna go for. Uh, is it a frozen frog? Uh, oh, incorrect. No did light. Did not complete an electric Okay, circuit. let's come back to it. Let's okay, back okay, to okay, okay, okay. Okay, the teapot. Teapot with a smile. Beauty and the Beast. Yeah, yes. very hey. nice. Okay. okay, next one I know is played by one of your favourite actors. <gasps> that's Danny DeVito. Oh, oh. Uh, that's Danny DeVito. Well, it's a cartoon know. character based. Like him, actually, you know. still. Uh, I have never seen that man before in my life. Uh, is uh, What's Tangle? Oh, incorrect. Oh, keep, let me keep going. What? Hercules! Oh, okay, yeah. okay, okay. That was okay. Phil from Hercules. Okay. Okay, and last one then. You've got to know who this guy is. Uh, that's uh, Snowman uh, from the Snow movie. 
frozen, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we can see here that when Mark gets the answer correct, we complete the electric circuit and the lights light up mm. because the electricity flows through the battery, through the light, through your answering wire, through the paper clip, mm. through the wire in the back to connect with the answer, looping everything together uh. in a complete electric circuit. You can use your understanding now of electric circuits to build lots of things. We've made an electric quiz here. We can also use some of the other investigations to make uh, some of what we have here. Yeah. This is very cool. We made a lighthouse a here. A lighthouse. So we use the same electric circuit mm. that you just saw in the quiz between a battery, a light and some wires. Mm. So we got the light to turn on and then we just made the body of the lighthouse using a toilet roll tube. We stuck it onto some cardboard and we actually painted some yeah. cotton wool blue to look like the just sea. Like the waves. Like the, the rolly waves. Yeah. All these hands-on investigations are available to download from the Discover Primary Science and Maths website, primaryscience.ie. So you can find all these really cool projects to investigate and learn about electric circuits. And that looks absolutely awesome, Thank doesn't you. it? Really, really cool. Very, very nice. Yeah, and you can even take your investigation mm. one step further and you can even use your knowledge of circuits to make a car. Very cool, so an electric see, car. When we turn on the switch here, what's gonna happen is it's gonna complete the electric circuit and the Ooh, wheels start and to the spin. the wheels start to turn, very nice. And once again, once you've got the basics down, you can even decorate your car whatever way you like. We always encourage that. Ooh. Oh, it is really coming down out there. Very stormy outside. Okay, Ali, I think we can use now our knowledge and understanding of static and current electricity, maybe to help fix my Tesla coil because there's lightning bolts shooting around outside but I want to get some lightning bolts shooting around inside. How mm. about that? Sounds safe. Okay, <laughs> yes. This is our Tesla coil. What Nikola Tesla was trying to do with this was to send electricity wirelessly through the air. Now we know that electricity flows through wires and cables but Tesla was trying to find a way to send all that electrical energy through the air. Ali, I need to be protected from these million volt, 5,000 degrees arcs of lightning. What do you got for me? Yeah, you gave me a pretty tough job here, Mark. What we're gonna do is we are going to dress you head to toe in a chain mail suit. Nice. Um, it's called a Faraday suit, invented by Michael Faraday, who is known as the father of electricity. So with this chain mail suit, it's gonna allow the electricity to pass over your body and safely into the ground, rather than passing through you. Okay, time to suit up. Right, you ready? Okay, well I am ready to go. I've got my Faraday suit on. Ali, all you need to do is control the lightning. And I'm on it! You're gonna turn that thunder into rock and roll music. Okay, time to put my hood on. Let's do this. that we did here today or you can take what you've learned from this one and try some other ones absolutely ali thank you for your help today no i'm gonna let you go back i'm gonna try and uh, get back and stuck into my tesla call and you can go back to doing whatever it was you're doing oh, so mark please no like it's really lost and outside teleportation and really, machine no, mark, thanks mark. ali mark. <laughs> uh, ali uh oh uh 
guess I better work on this thing. Put the Tesla coil away. Ali? Uh, see ya. This video series is brought to you by Dunleary Ratdown Libraries in association with Mark the Science Guy and supported by the Dormant Accounts Fund. The resources used throughout this series are part of the SFI Discover Primary Science and Maths Programme and Azero Ireland.